In this video, you will discover more about a geologic feature that was considered sacred to the Monacan Indians, was once owned by Thomas Jefferson, and has hosted visitors from around the world. Luckily, you do not have to travel too far to see it. Welcome to Virginia's very own Natural Bridge. This towering rock formation was not made overnight, but to understand how it was formed, you need to know a little bit more about the rock that makes up this structure. The natural bridge is composed of an important sedimentary rock, limestone. This particular limestone was formed about 570 to 320 million years ago when a shallow tropical sea covered this area of Virginia. Minerals and sediments sank to the bottom of that sea and eventually hardened into the layered rock seen all around Natural Bridge today. Around 250 million years ago, tectonic plates began to move modern day Europe, Asia, Africa, and North America towards each other. This collision caused the limestone rock to bend and slide over each other, creating the tilted layers seen along the trail under the bridge today. The upward force put on the limestone pushed the layered rock to new heights. This was what created the Appalachian mountain chain, which were once taller than the Rockies. But why are they so much smaller now? The answer, again, is in the limestone. The extreme pressure exerted on the limestone during the formation of the Appalachian Mountains produced cracks throughout the bedrock. These openings allowed melting snow and rain to seep into the ground. As water passed through soil on its way to, into those openings, it picked up carbon dioxide and became slightly acidic. This acid is called carbonic acid, and it's the same thing that makes the bubbles in your soda. Limestone dissolves when it comes in contact with weak acid like carbonic acid, creating subterranean cavities. The natural bridge was formed through this process of slowly dissolving limestone. Landscapes with caves, sinkholes, springs, and sinking streams are known as karst, as shown in this image of a typical karst landscape. Over the years, many ideas pertaining to the development of the natural bridge were put forward, but most geologists agree on the following theory. This is Cedar Creek, and it currently runs under the natural bridge. However, it used to follow along a very different corridor, along another nearby valley. At some point, a few million years ago, a sinkhole opened up and turned Cedar Creek into a sinking stream that drained into a cavern below. The high volume of water entering this growing cave quickly etched away at the limestone. This created a long linear cavern which is reflected in the direct flow of Cedar Creek today. Eventually, so much of the cavern walls washed away that the top of the cave became unstable and portions of the ceiling began to collapse into Cedar Creek below. Large rocks and steep valley walls can still be seen along the length of Cedar Creek. Cedar Creek was slowly exposed during the cave's prolonged collapse, and the creek continued to run through a deep canyon that was left behind. However, one section of that cavern ceiling remained stable enough to still be standing today and it is now known as the Natural Bridge. 
And there you have it. The secret behind the formation of the natural bridge is hidden in the limestone that composes its structure. These processes are still acting on the formation and on the rest of the Appalachian mountain chain. This spectacular monolith is still visited by people from around the world that come to enjoy the beauty of the natural bridge. I hope you have enjoyed your journey into the inner workings of this natural wonder.